Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, guys, I've got some updates now on this earthquake. It is a 7.4 earthquake. It was, the U.S. Geological Survey said it was 43, excuse me, 43.8 kilometers deep. But they've now changed it to 10 kilometers, and we've just had an aftershock hit just about a minute ago at 5.2. And there is a tsunami warning in effect for up to 300 kilometers from the epicenter. I want to show you something right here if I can. Uh, where'd it go? Where's the camera? Can I flip this camera? Or will it not let me do that? Okay, it lets me do that on Periscope, but not... Okay, okay. All right, so I can't show it. But anyway, it's it's exactly what's going on here. We have a situation where it is 7.4, and it is now, we just had an aftershock 5.2, the aftershock is registered at 19.8 kilometers. This is a mega, mega quake of 7.4. Boom, we've just had another one. 5.1 has just hit uh, right at the same spot, just a little bit over. But now this is called uh, Atu Station, Alaska. So you know it's right there on the edges of the Aleutia Islands. Same, it's, it's, it's a... Um, and now another one. 2.7 has just hit southern Alaska. So we have a... 7.4 Russia, we have a 5.2 Russia, we have a 5.1 Alaska, and we're, uh, there is tsunami warnings from that mega 7.4 that just hit. So I'm going to keep you up to speed, guys. It's getting serious. I'll be live at 10 p.m. Eastern at my website at www.publiclyprophecy.com. I'll be live at 10 p.m. on Primetime Live. We'll cover all the current world events going on around the world. Certainly, it's a very fluid situation right now in Russia. I'll see you at 10 p.m. Are you serious? Good morning. This is Guardian News. And uh, this is your Yellowstone Super Volcano update. Let me tell you, we had some good-sized ones the other day. Towards the end of the day, let's go ahead and start off with the, uh, oh, let's see, bear with me here, yeah, yesterday evening, uh, we had an uptick in the, in size of the, uh, earthquake itself, it, uh, went 2.7, 2.5, 2.1, a 2.9, which was almost, you know, almost 3.0, 1.91, 1.5, 1 1.5 to 22nd, uh, 0.7, 1.5, and a 1.0. And uh, there's been an uptick, and it seems like the size is, you know, it's getting bigger. But uh, as you can see, the swarm, it's all up in that west, making its way more and more towards the caldera. Um, I don't know. I don't know what your guys' thoughts are on this. Honestly, if you guys uh, live nearby, uh, you know, go ahead and send me some videos or something. Send me some videos of uh, what you guys are digging up, and I'll share that. And uh, I'll put your guys' name in the video if you want, or the link, or anything like that. Uh, or even some of your, uh, you know, facts or thoughts, you know. I can use that as well, you know, uh, I know a lot of people are investigating the same thing that I'm doing, um, but I keep a close eye on things because it's important to pay attention to this, let me tell you, it's no joke, you know, when it comes to uh, this stuff right here with Yellowstone, you got to respect Mother Nature, man, or she'll kick your ass, uh, so just amazes me that um, and a lot more people are reporting on it and uh, mainstream as well I noticed you know well the RT I guess if you want to call it they're not really mainstream they're underground which uh, they give you a lot of this stuff that CNN uh, MSN and a lot of the mainstream media they don't cover but came across this video clip the other day and I was like, what the hell? And here's the thing, you know, if you were a government, and I think like a government, 
and you wanted to slide something underneath the radar, yeah, people are going to talk about it. But if you slid that in there, say, five or ten years before the event actually happened, because these guys know years on end when shit's going to hit the fan, you know, things would calm down if, you, you know, you did it five, six, seven years before. So I uh, just, I came across this clip. And uh, you guys probably seen this before, but uh, check this out. And you can see the size here. There's lots of room. Uh, I think my friends here, we could all probably get inside. It might be a little cozy, but we'd fit just fine. Which tells me that these liners can be used for more than just one. And, uh, There's like 500,000 of these coffin liners. That's good. Casket liners, they're inexpensive coffins. I mean, maybe they want to store fruits and vegetables in them. I mean, who knows? Later, as I went back to my home office, I spoke of it there. And, of course, people usually don't want to hear too much about this kind of thing. So it's never been mentioned uh, you know, publicly except just... Here and there. Let's fast forward. I'm trying to hear this shit. Explain why just weeks, I mean, could have been two to three weeks prior to that meeting that I had stumbled upon these, uh, at that time, 125,000 oh. disposable. 125,000 at that time. Sorry about that. Madison, Georgia. Oh, yeah, that's right. They want to put soy soybeans in those coffins. Did you catch what he said, friends? At this high-powered meeting, it was in Perry, Georgia, near Robin Air Force Base, the largest employer in the state of Georgia, Robin Air Force Base. The chairman of the Armed Services Committee was the keynote speaker. The chairman of the Armed Services Committee, whoever that may be, used to be Sam Nunn of Georgia district I was born and raised in. Whoever that chairman is, is generally one of the most powerful men in Washington. And I can't remember the chairman's name at that time myself, but he said, this was in the year 2000, I believe, that in the next 10 years, possibly due to nuclear strikes, tens of millions of people could lose their lives. And we've just read what our prophet said. Now, what we've just seen is one United States city outside, this is Atlanta, it has a metropolitan population area, roughly 4 million people. So this it's not going to happen there. Outside of one U.S. city, one U.S. city, and the brother of the man that owns this field, that the government is leasing this field from to store these disposable coffins, this brother has been was given three years to set up temporary morgues around the country. See you now if you were gonna if you knew something that was gonna happen an event that was gonna happen a major travesty that was gonna happen you wouldn't put supplies where it actually is gonna happen. You would put it on the outskirts. So uh, that's that's my theory. That's my theory. Um, you know, what do you guys think on that? I mean, those things are still there. Uh, they could have been moved, but obviously, you know, maybe they are for uh, soybeans or something because they're in a soybean field. Um, I highly doubt that. But anyways, so back to Yellowstone, which Yellowstone to... Atlanta, Georgia is uh, quite a distance. So who's to say that if Yellowstone erupts, yeah, it's going to kill a lot of people because people don't want to believe what they want to believe. But the Lord gives signs in the earth, the skies, the people themselves. You see the evil. You see the you see change. But we've been brainwashed by mainstream mainstream media 
that we accept this change with everything that's just the natural. You know, it's just okay to be on your phone 24-7 and it's just okay to 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 have drag queens, you know, do a read-along with your two, three-year-old, well, not two, three, three to five-year-old, six-year-old kids at school. It's just the new normal. It's just the new normal. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, transgender. Yeah, it's just the new normal. You know, different bathrooms, you know, a guy could go with the girls, whatever, or they're neutral or whatever they call them. It's just the normal nowadays, you know, it's just the new norm to have all this evil happen. Okay. Wake up, you guys. Wake up. See it. Let's take a step back and see it. You know, don't be afraid to speak up. You know, you can speak to me, you can comment to me. You know, it, it, it's hard. You know, I mean, I'm not saying go judge these people and go tell them like, you know, because, hey, God is going to judge, you know, those people. God's going to judge me. God's going to judge you. You know, I'm not going to judge anybody. I don't judge people. When I was younger, yeah, I was a little you know, egotistical some bitch, but now that I gotten older and I got my kids and stuff like that, you know, I've been, you know, really into the Lord and stuff. It's just you know, the Lord saved my life, let me tell you. You know, it, <laughs> I could that'll be another video. But uh I'm running out of time here. I just wanted to do a quick illustration. Just hold on, buddy. Anyways, that was my son. But anyways, hey, you guys have a great Thursday. God bless all you guys. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm gonna keep a, probably going to do a couple more videos today. Uh, I'm supposed to have lunch with my wife. But you guys have a great day, and God bless. Thanks for subscribing.